Hello friends, this video on alcohol phenol and ether part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The question says ortho and para nitrophenols are more acidic than phenol. So let's see this phenol and let's see ortho and para nitrophenol. Let me start with ortho nitrophenol and I have para nitrophenol. Let's compare all these. First, let's talk about the acidic nitrophenol. Why it is acidic? Because this phenyl is electron withdrawing group, right? It, it sucks electron. And this, this electron is hung, this oxygen is hungry of electron. It tries to take electron from this hydrogen and gets plastic positive charge. That is the mechanism. Now nitro group is all the more electron withdrawing group. This is electron withdrawing group. Right? And we have seen that the electron density is more at ortho and para position. And they are electron withdrawing group. And since they are at the correct position, they withdraw all the more electron. The phenol needs more electron. Phenol means no needs more electron. Who will supply electron to phenol? Oxygen. Right? So if oxygen is supplying electron to phenol, more electron to phenol, the oxygen is becoming all the more electron hungry. So from what is the source of electron for oxygen? Hydrogen. So oxygen will suck this hydrogen all the more and it gets all the more positive charge. And thus it will be all the more acidic. Correct? It's all the same game. This phenol needs electron, the source is oxygen. Oxygen needs electron, the source is hydrogen. Right? So if this phenol needs more electron, then oxygen that means it needs more electron, right? Because it will take more electron from oxygen. So oxygen will be more electron deficient, it will withdraw electron from this hydrogen, it will draw more electron from hydrogen, it will get more partial positive charge. Why is orthonitrophenol more acidic than methoxyphenol? Let's see this. This is my orthonitrophenol. Here I have the same concept. This is electron withdrawing group. And then methoxyphenol. Orthomethoxyphenol. So here also the same concept applies. Orthomethoxy, this methoxy group is electron releasing group. And this nitro group is electron withdrawing group. Correct. Now, since this is electron releasing group, it is, it is also giving some electron. Oxygen is also giving some electron. Phenol is happy. It is not demanding oxygen more for more electron, right? Because it is getting some electron from methoxy group also. Since oxygen, since the demand of this phenyl group from oxygen is less, so this oxygen will not harass this hydrogen much. But in this case, nitrogen is taking electron from this phenol. Phenol needs more electron now. It is asking oxygen for electron. Oxygen has only one source, hydrogen, so it is harassing hydrogen all the more. So hydrogen gets more positive charge because the electrons have been sucked by this oxygen. So it's more positive charge, it's more acidic. And this is less acidic. Correct. The question says you have to explain how OH group attached to benzene ring activates the ring towards electrophilic substitution. We have done this. So I have OH. If you draw the, uh, this has lone pairs. So if you draw the resonance structure of these, what you will get is, I'll not draw all for you. You can just draw, you'll get something like these and then you can keep drawing, you'll get two, three structures, right? And then you'll say that, okay, this, because of OH, we are getting negative here, negative here, and also one more you get, I think, yeah. negative here. It is all resonance structure. And thus, since the electron density is more at this position, they are susceptible to attack by electrophiles. So we have to give the equation the following reaction. Oxidation of propane one all with alkaline came in a very strong oxidizing is in. So it will form propanoic acid. So I have this is my propanol. You have this came in a four. Alkaline it will form propanoic acid. The next is bromine in phenol. So we'll go for bromination reaction. We have learned this Br2 at ortho and para position will have this. 
and ortho will be a major one. We have learned this reaction so many times. The next is dilute nitric acid with phenol. It will go for nitration. Pretty easy forward. This phenol with nitric acid. It will go for nitration. This will be the major and the another will be minor. You can have this at ortho position. Correct. The next is treating phenol with chloroform. So I have this phenol. I have the CHCl3 and NaOH. So we have seen this reaction. So we get salicylaldehyde. We have seen this reaction. We have seen these reactions. If you want the reaction mechanism for this, please watch my previous videos in the same chapter where we discussed the reaction mechanism for this reaction. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.